Belarus president refuses to cancel anything, and says vodka and saunas will ward off coronavirus. Here's a summary of the article. Few measures have been enforced to curb coronavirus in Belarus, instead, people are being urged to drink vodka and go to saunas. The country, specifically its president, has shrugged off concerns about the COVID-19 outbreak, starkly illustrated on Sunday with the nation's football matches continuing as normal. President Alexander Lukashenko took part in an ice hockey match on Saturday, controversially declaring that sport is the best antivirus remedy. 94 coronavirus cases have been reported in Belarus, a former Soviet nation that is home to 9.5 million people. Mr. Lukashenko, an avid ice hockey player who has been in power since 1994, has downplayed the need for social distancing, and Belarus is one of the only countries that has taken few measures to curb COVID-19 spread. In recent weeks, the president has suggested that Belarusians should drink 50 milliliters of vodka a day to ward off the virus, but not at work, advice that is completely at odds with recommendations from the World Health Organization. Mr. Lukashenko has also vowed that Belarus will still celebrate Victory Day on 9 May, a day when elderly veterans from World War II parade through the streets. According to the Belarusian Telegraph Agency, the president said, We are not cancelling anything. We will host all the events we have planned let God protect us from the coronavirus. This post received a score of 59,158, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. People are betting on Belarus Sports League these days. Belarus soccer is literally the only thing that shows up on my betting app that you can bet on right now. Mine's allowing me to bet on the weather. Mine's allowing me to bet on how many people die. Please tell me this isn't actually a thing. But if it is, link PLS. Vegas bookies would probably be willing to take a bet for COVID-19 death tolls according to a specific organization. I think that kind of bet, like Deadpools or Pontines, are illegal. Pontine? No, P means pontine boats. They have huge metal calendars or colander if you're a chef underneath them that are filled with old bookie shavings. No, he means poutine, the Canadian dish where a plate of fries is smothered in brown gravy and cheese curds. I've seen this on several sci fi shows. The world is covered in time bubbles. It's 2020 in some places and 1960 in other places and 1880 in other places. Greater than, the future is already here, it's just not very evenly distributed. William Gibson. Always loved that quote. It's even obvious between the US and Canada. Halifax, NS has massive electronic billboards with video ads on like every building downtown, clean streets and convenient public transportation. Meanwhile Orlando, Florida has been working on the same highway for just about 30 years and can't seem to figure out how to operate a street sweeper. Morocco is a real trip. Modern cities and then you drive for an hour and you're in a city made of mud bricks that's been the same for 1,000 years. I had this vibe in Phnom Penh recently as well. Tons of modernity all over the place but most of it is a facade covering habits and cycles that have remained virtually unchanged the last 100 years. Yeah a genocide will cause huge wealth disparity. According to the World Health Organization, 34.7% of deaths in Belarus are alcohol-related, and they consume the most alcohol per capita of any nation, at 17.5 liters per person which works out to 23.3750 milliliters bottles of pure alcohol a year for the average person. It would probably be more accurate to say that Belarusians are unafraid of the coronavirus because anyone susceptible to it due to age or underlying medical issues is going to die of alcohol poisoning or liver failure first. Belarus 65 plus percentage of population is actually a bit higher than US. Not for long. Considering the US's response, it may well stay that way. At least we aren't being told cheeseburgers will get rid of it. Heat and random meds, sure. We got red caps drinking fish tank cleaner because Cheeto Benito said it would stop COVID-19. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.